A few episodes back, I reviewed the Ninja Gaiden trilogy for the SNES. So I figured it was high time that I reviewed the NES versions. Hello, and welcome to Gaming Thoughts. My name is Sean O'Donnell, and today I will be reviewing Ninja Gaiden for the NES. So, the question remains, is this game worth playing? Is it worth the time? Well, let's jump in and find out. Ninja Gaiden puts you in the role of Ryu Hayabusa, a young ninja who must travel to America to solve the mystery of who killed his father. Along the way, he will encounter various enemies and obstacles that impede his quest to get revenge. Graphically speaking, Ninja Gaiden is an incredible looking game. The stages are all varied, well designed, and look great. The enemy designs are also very nice, unique, and different. There's a lot of variety here and that is a major plus. The thing that makes the game stand out the most though are the cutscenes. The cutscenes themselves are absolutely beautiful and great addition to the game. The music of Ninja Gaiden is amazing. There is not a single track on here that is bad, and all of it is well put together and flows well with the overall story. I really enjoy the music from this game. In fact, one of my favorite tracks on here is the Mass Devil theme, which plays towards the end of the game. There is a lot to love with this game in regards to the music department. It's just very well put together. At its core, Ninja Gaiden is a side-scrolling action platformer. You go through the various stages, fighting through enemies, and navigating through precarious platforming elements in order to get to the end of each stage. The platforming elements is quite challenging as a lot of times you have to do almost pinpoint accurate jumps in order to succeed. However, to compensate that, Ryu has the ability to wall climb and wall jump, which go a long ways in helping make the game a little bit more manageable. That said, you also get a wide variety of power-ups that you can use at your disposal, from throwing stars to a jump slash and a fire wheel which makes you temporarily invincible. That said, the game isn't perfect though. Uh, enemy placement a lot of times is in frustrating spots that is very difficult to avoid damage. Not only that, but there are times where enemies will come out of nowhere and so you have to react quickly in order to come off unscathed. This is especially frustrating with the platforming elements in areas such as stage 6-2 where you'll have bats and birds that will come out of nowhere and it's hard to avoid taking damage. Another area that is frustrating is that if you are that just far enough away from when you kill an enemy, they will automatically respawn. And so you could inadvertently create an endless loop of enemies if you're not careful. It's frustrating, but it's not unmanageable. One of my favorite aspects of this game, though, is the story. 
It is told VI cutscenes from in between stages, and not only was it a pioneer in this, but it's also a great story to boot. This is something that I really enjoyed, and it doesn't overstay its welcome. It's something that you could skip if you want. It's not mandatory to watch the cutscenes, but it does help with the overall experience. So that, my friends, is Ninja Gaiden for the NES. And as a whole, the game is fantastic. It is an amazing, wonderful, exciting, nail-biting experience. Now, it is hard. This is true. But between the incredible cutscenes, the amazing music the smooth controls, you're going to have a great time with this title. Now, sure, it can be infuriating. Those damn birds will get you every single time. But, as a whole, the game is simply an amazing ride. Great power-ups, fun level design, incredible fast-paced action, and a tremendous story to boot. This is a title that is a worthy challenge for anyone who enjoys old-school gaming, and is definitely worth looking into. So, there you go. That's my thoughts on Ninja Gaiden. If you enjoy this game, let me know. If you haven't tried it, do so. All right. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.